welcome back. I'm doing a crate and barrel dupe today. So I hope you got a chance to see my um, hurricane uh, candle holder that I did. Uh, you know, if you don't, obviously those were from my light fixtures, but those are plain uh, glass that you can even find at the dollar store. So uh, with my black spray paint, uh, I've been meaning to do this and I had these signs sitting in front of me. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And I kept looking at them. Yes, I got to do them. Yes, I got to do them. So I thought I'm going to do that project next. So you see them. They're in front of you. Uh, I got more boxes uh, over here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to need, how many I'm going to need, and I don't know if I'm going to do the pair, but right now I'm going to start with the small, uh, tower first. What it is, is I'm going to put the picture over here. Hopefully it's going to pop up right now. Um, it's the Shinola Mechanac Small Natural Lantern. And, um, I guess it's like a Japanese inspired lantern. So I really like it and um, the natural look uh, doesn't really go with my decor but if you like that you can always just uh, you know um, put your own um, coloring on it uh, with natural uh, wood seal or you know brown paint whatever you want to do water it down um, but I'm going to spray paint it black. Uh, because, uh, you know, it does come in the two colors. These blocks are perfect for that. And obviously you need wood glue and a little bit, a touch of um, uh, hot glue just to hold it while it's uh, curing. Uh, let's see how it goes. But as you can see, regularly $149.95 uh, and they're on clearance right now. So uh, $89. I mean, this is nothing and so you can see the four posts i kept thinking i'm not going to do them with the run round dowels because uh i'm going to try to make it as close as possible to the original so i had to go to the doctors a few weeks back and i popped into the dollarama near that location and i found something garage sale signs this post is squarish and it's black um, and it's very, very hard, thick plastic, but I'm sure that I can melt it through with my hot knife to whatever size I need. And uh, it's definitely going to be uh, 13 inches high because that's how high this holder, candle holder is. So I'm sure I'm going to have enough height to um, put it into the corner. So I've got the four signs. So $1.75 for each sign. So perfect um, to do the four corner posts and they look square enough. Uh, but if you don't have any option, um, I mean, Home Depot, I'm sure they have some, uh, you know, um, a piece of wood that is uh, small enough to be that uh, size. When I saw that, that was sufficient enough for me. So there's lots of things to think of uh, to be able to do it. But if you don't want to go crazy and you're at uh, Dollarama and you want to check out those signs and you find them, I'm sure that you'll be able to find them, uh, the garage sale signs. So having said that, I'm going to start uh, with putting, gluing these together and a uh, pretty simple project and it's going to look amazing. So I'll be right back. 